Interstate RV Show with your host, Interstate RV. All right, folks, Interstate RV here. Woo! Another big in today. Yeah, the Interstate RV Show, home of the big Got a full lineup today. First of all, what we got is we got some we got some uh, Dear Interstate. So let's get to it. Dear Interstate. All right. All right, just just in, just in. All right, let's get to letter number one. Dear Interstate, I was RVing at a campground last night, and there was an unexpected cold snap. Now my water hose is frozen stiff. What should I do? Terry P., Springfield, Missouri. Well, Terry, I don't know what to tell you. All I can tell you is, is that if your hose has been stiff for more than four hours, call your doctor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number two. Dear Interstate, my boyfriend's college fraternity won't accept him unless he posts a nude video of me on the internet. I want to help him, but I don't want people to see me in a nude video. Do you have any advice? Carol A., L.A., California. Well, Carol, I'm sorry about your dilemma, but I can fix it to where everybody's happy. Just go ahead and post your uh, video on uh, my YouTube channel, and nobody will see it. <laughs> yeah, that's not funny. All right, well let's let's get right to let's get right to number three. Dear Interstate, I'm worried that you're working too hard on your show. Last week it looked like your beard was getting a little more gray. Maybe you should take it easy for a while. Darla K, Atlanta, Georgia. Well, gee, thanks, Darla. I'm I'm grateful for your concern, but I don't think my beard's been getting any grayer. But I'll tell you what. Let's check it out. Let's compare some photos. All right. Now, here's a photo of me when I landed the big contract to do the Interstate RV show. All right. Yeah, a little gray there. All right. And here's last week's photo. Hmm. Yeah, it does look a little bit more gray. Well, maybe I will take it a little easy for a while. All right, looks like I'll be able to play Santa Claus this year. All right, well, that's it for Dear Interstate for this week. I'd be like uh, Terry, Carol, and Darla. Send your, your emails to my email address there or comment on the videos. You know, why get left out? Be a part of the action. Get in on it. All right, now it looks like we got the, just rolling right along. The Interstate Way. The Interstate Way. Right. Well, you know, the, everybody should check their batteries on either their uh, coach or their, um, or their, uh, you know, and the chassis too. If you have a motorhome, and, you know, a lot of times it's, you know, it's pretty dangerous and it makes a big mess. A lot of people get in and they take, you know, water and they, they pour it in there, get it all over the place, make a big sloppy mess. Well, let's see how let's let's see how it's done the right way. First of all, you know, I mean, obviously batteries contain acid. So the first thing you want to do, you always want to make sure you got, you know, your safety glasses on. You know, there it is. So you got your safety glasses on, and uh, and uh, first of all, when you're pouring water in a battery, always use uh, pure spring water or you know bottled water, whatever it is. Don't use tap water. Now, uh, what I do is I take a, a bottle like this, you know, a water bottle, and it, of course it's, I got the, the the spring water in it. And uh, how I don't drip it is, I use a turkey baster, you know, and I put the turkey baster in there, fits just right in there, and I take out just about halfway through, and then I go to each battery uh, thing and I put it in there. As it needs it, you know. And of course, don't fill it till it overflows. Um, you know, each one, each battery has its own level. Usually, it's right at the bottom of the of the uh, hole there. If you don't know, ask ask the, a mechanic or somebody to take a look at it, and tell you how far it should be. Yeah, uh, you know, and and plus, keep the water bottle full. That way, if you do spill some acid or you know get some on the paint or you know, God forbid, get some on your hand, you got water right there to to dilute it. And when you use the turkey baster. Use this for the battery only. Don't use the baster you cook with for the battery because you'll get grease and slop in the battery. And don't use this. Don't use the battery baster for cooking because then you'll get acid in there and you'll burn your insides out. All right. So that's how we do it there. Remember, always wear safety glasses. All right. <laughs> so, so don't worry what the scientists say. You're okay. Do it the interstate way. And that's the interstate way for today. Interstate RVers news update. All right, big news for this week. I uh, got the brakes done, so I'm going to drive them around for. I drove them around for about 300 miles, 
which was about oh, two days. I really did some driving uh, uh, this week. Drove around for a while. I'm going to see how they're wearing him pretty good. I'm going to have them recheck, make sure everything was uh, done good and after after working right. Uh, the only it looks like I got uh, uh, two two things left. Uh, number one is my uh, uh, get my driver's license renewed. I may do that this week. Um, I don't know. I, I, I probably will. I don't know. I may do that this week. And uh, the last thing is is that uh, I got a refund check, a, s a small refund check. I mean, like really small, but well, not too small. I mean, it was enough to you know, it's a couple hundred dollars. It's enough to do my uh, the stuff I'm doing. You know, it's it's uh, it's just from um, from some things I some coupons I had for I had a rebate on on the uh, on the, the parts that I that I got and because uh, they were they were really expensive so I got a I got a coupon for uh, uh, so much off so I got I got a nice uh, a nice uh, refund there because you know I had had a lot of parts and you know I had a friend that helped me out and, and all that and uh, he kind of gave me a little a little extra uh, boost there but all right then and that's uh, that's the news for this week and uh, we're getting closer to, to leaving we're getting closer to getting on the road so stay tuned all right. Now I guess there's no more. I guess there's no sense in uh, delaying it any further. Let's get the joke of the day. Joke of the day. All right. Now you see, there's this guy. He, uh, he he drives up. He's in his campground. He drives up in this uh, brand new motorhome, one of those five hundred thousand dollar jobs, you know. And uh, it's kind of a it's kind of a, a, a more a, a more run down motorhome. So you know, a lot of people in there don't have that that uh, good looking of a of a rig. So this one guy gets over there, and the guy gets out, and he's doing all the things with his uh, new motorhome, wiping it down, stuff like that. So this guy walks up to him. He goes, "Is this your motorhome?" And the guy goes, "Yeah, sure is." He goes, "He goes, I, he goes, I just got it a couple of days ago." And he goes, "Well, how'd you like to make a thousand dollars?" And the guy goes. Well, sure, I'd like to make $1,000. What do I got to do? He goes, I'll tell you what. He goes, I'll, I'll make you a bet. He goes, let's go inside your new motorhome. He goes, I'll take this uh, this uh, pork and bean can that I got. He goes, I'll stand at the at the, the cab. He goes, and you take this all the way back to the back. He goes, and I'll pee straight up in the air. He goes, and I'll get it all in that can and not spill one drop not one drop on the floor of your motorhome. The guy goes, man, I don't know about that, you know. And he goes, a thousand dollars, you know. He goes, let's see the money. So the guy shows him the money. He goes, all right. He goes, I can make a payment with that. So he goes, he goes, I'll, uh, I'll do it. So he sets the can uh, down there at the end of the, at the end of the long hallway. And the other guy stands up by the, uh, by the, the cab, and he starts peeing. Well, he pees everywhere except in the can. So this guy, he comes out of the motorhome, he's just laughing like, laughing like a hyena. He goes, man, he goes, that was the best, he goes, that was the easiest thousand dollars I ever made. He goes, how, how, how are you so stupid? And the guy goes, I'm not stupid at all. He goes, you see that guy over there at the end of the campground? I bet him two thousand dollars that I could P.O. on your brand new motorhome and make you laugh about it. <laughs> all right, might want to remember that next time you go to the campground. <laughs> all right. That's the Interstate Review Show for this week. Remember, keep watching, subbing, and subscribing, and and thank you all for for uh, for uh, all the all the plus ones and the subs and the uh, and the uh, 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 you know the views and all that stuff. It's just it's just tremendous. Let's keep it going. Let's don't stop. So this is Interstate RV. I'll see you next week, Tuffies. And remember, a new show every Thursday. And if you're in the Interstate RV or Tuffy Circle, it'll be before Thursday. So uh, why miss out on the action? Get in on it. All right? This is Interstate Live here.